More now on our top story, the ambush in Dallas. And there's a lot of talk tonight about how police killed the shooter. Yeah, they sent in a robot to blow him up with a bomb. Rachel Kim joins us now with a look at a tactic that is raising a lot of questions tonight. Yeah, Paul and Pat, bomb robots became widely used by U.S. troops in Afghanistan and Iraq to blow up IEDs or improvised explosive devices. Dallas police say they used one to kill the shooter because other options would have put officers' lives in danger. Here in Southern California, we've seen police use bomb disposal robots to check out suspicious packages, use them for crime scene surveillance, help in hostage situations, and of course, defuse bombs. These robots have been part of police tactical equipment for years, but when a robot was used to deliver the bomb that killed the suspected shooter in Dallas Thursday, it's believed to have been the first time one was used to intentionally kill someone. Dallas police say they used a bomb robot to take out Micah Johnson because they had no other choice. Negotiations broke down. We had an exchange of gunfire with the suspect. Uh, we saw no other option. Federal law enforcement sources believe it delivered a small explosive typically used by SWAT teams to breach or blow open a door. It's a tactic used very rarely by the military and likely for the first time by U.S. law enforcement. Last June, Dallas police used a bomb robot to detonate pipe bombs inside a suspect's van. He's killed five of your officers. So you, you have got a Scud missile, and it is ready to go off. The president of the California Association of Tactical Officers told me over the phone today that deploying a robot as a weapon is unprecedented, but the concept isn't new. He said during his time at the L.A. County Sheriff's Department, they talked about and actually practiced the scenario 20 years ago. They just never used it. But he said he's glad Dallas police did. Now, legal and ethics experts say this tactic raises questions about the use of remote control devices like drones to fight crime. Another question, if legally equipped robots can be used in this situation, when else can they be used? But in this case, most say Dallas police made the right call. Pat, back to you. All right.